Love Hate in Black and Blue the first time. Miss Carter wrote, Tracy is a very bright girl, but she plays the fool like a veteran. That weekend, I tasted salt sweet lust and lost my childhood somewhere along the beach. The boy was Darren Smith. It was damp dark, hair standing on end dark. I wore a black polo neck for weeks. The next time was the last day of school when some boy scrawled slag on my graffiti blouse and my girlfriend scribbled it into an ugly scar. The first child to abandon school, I marched to the end of the pier, the bleach blonde end of an era, wishing for the anonymity of dark. And later, I rolled up my sleeves like a child giving blood for the first time. Tracy loves Darren. It was girl power, 1979. He was my aerosol boy, and the swelling inscription, my life boy. We lasted a month. The next time was South End, 1980. The receptionist was Tank Girl, the tattooist, Cruella de Vil, who stitched hot dark ink into my taut flesh as time flowed free in a corset of glass. I was a child bride, married to the needle, and our child was the fine line distinction like girl, boy, a miracle of living flesh. Time was exquisite subcutaneous pain, and the end marked the beginning. A jet dark old gold tiger draped across my shoulder. No girl is fully dressed without one. Tank girl jotted down the next appointment like a child who'd just learnt to write while the thick, dark ink stained my frayed punk boy t-shirt, poked Tracy Loves Darren with the end of her pen and winked. We'll cover him up in no time. It takes an hour to eliminate girl meets boy, a minute for childhood to end, and for dark blue to fade to grey, a lifetime.